top 10 things that could go wrong at a wedding. Oh my goodness, I never thought I'd do this, but there is a top 10. And I want to have some fun with it, right? Like, thank God at the end of the day, they get married, they're upright, they're breathing. It all ends well. It all, <laughs> it all ends well. But there's sometimes it's a rocky road to get there. And um, I want to talk to you about, you know, the top 10 weddings that I thought, wow, I can't believe that this is happening. I can't believe that this is unfolding in front of my eyes. So, and let me tell you, number one, oh my goodness. <laughs> number one's insane. All right, so top 10. This is number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Um, okay. So picture this. It's a Dalesford wedding, right? It's amazing. Dalesford is beautiful. If you don't, if you're not familiar with Dalesford, kind of winery wedding. So, heading up there, food packed. Everything is good. Everything is golden. Head to the groom's house. Everything is fine. You know, we're getting getting him ready. You know, everything works out. Spend 40, 50 minutes with him, and then. They're staying at Airbnbs, of course, because they don't live in the area. They're all back in Melbourne. They're back in the city, but they, they go there because it's so beautiful. Dalesford, it's amazing. Anyway, I go to the brides, right? So I pull up at the brides and I'm at the front. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm pretty aware. I'm a pretty aware guy, right? Because it's my, it's my job to uh, be on aisle <laughs> all the time, right? Um, just so I don't miss anything. Yeah, I could be at a wedding and I'm sitting at the table and I hear something that sounds similar to like someone holding a microphone. It could be something random. I leap up off the table and I'm running. I mean, that's I'm high alert all the time and the stress is up here. Anyway, I'm I'm I'm, I'm being distracted. Okay, roll up at the brides again. Something's not right. I get out of the car and there's this gentleman looking really pissed off, like he's really angry, bald, kind of in a track suit. Uh, not that that matters. That it, it was He was wearing clothes, but I just want to try and paint the picture for you, right? And he's looking really pissed off. And I'm uh, looking at the uh, bride and the bridesmaid because I can see it from when I went to the front gate and then you kind of walk up the path and then you've got a porch and then you've got the house, right? I see the bridesmaids and the bride, they all come scuttling out. I'm like, what? And I said, hi. And they go, no, 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 not here, not here, not here, not here, not here. And I'm like, what? Not here. Anyway, they end up going next door and they, they call me over and um, I end up shooting them, getting ready from there. However, what had happened was this. The bride arrived with her bridesmaids in the evening the night before the wedding, obviously. They had a key. They went to the door. They opened it up and it opened up. Great. This is, this is the property, right? So they noticed something really strange about the house. It's like, this doesn't look like an Airbnb. They're still shit. I mean, Airbnb still have stuff in closets and they have them locked up so you can't get access to them because they kind of live there on the off season, not the high season, so they can rent it out. And then notice the food and the place isn't great. It's uh, it's dirty. They're taking photos. They're going to send it to Airbnb. But they find all this alcohol. They're drinking all the alcohol. They've got food there and it's amazing. So it's kind of making up for uh, the, the, the condition of the home or how it's untidy. They're in the shower. They're complaining about the shower. It's not that clean. They're taking photos <laughs> and sending it to Airbnb. And then... They're having breakfast the morning of the wedding and there's this man, bald man like the guy I described at the beginning, he's pacing up and down and staring at him through the window and they start screaming they want to call the police. He starts knocking on the, <laughs> starts knocking on the window, knocking on the door and what had happened was this. Back in the day, a gentleman uh, or a family owned both homes, so kind of identical right next door, next door to each other. 
and for you know for ease of use, they <laughs> they 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 had the same key that opens up both doors because they own both properties, right? So when they got the key for this property, they didn't check the number properly. <laughs> so they walked in to the house that was occupied. So they stayed in someone's home that was that had actually just headed out for the night, went into the city and come back the next morning and looked through the window and found a bunch of girls in the kitchen eating, <laughs> eating his food and they've drank his alcohol. They literally stayed in the stranger's home overnight. They slept in his bed, they drank his alcohol, they ate his food and this, I mean, at the end of the day he was a good sport. He looked pissed off. I would be pissed off too. It would be really strange. But um, then they come scuttering it and we could laugh about it now. But imagine on your wedding day there's someone staring at you through the window, you know, it hasn't run as smoothly as it should, the Airbnb is a bit shitty and it made for a great point at the speech, you know, they, they, they made a thing out of it and it was all very funny afterwards. But at the time it was, man, it was wild. Imagine staying in someone's home overnight that they live there. That you've just opened the door. I mean, it was. I mean, the lesson learned here is change your freaking locks, get a different lock on that door, and have your have your um, numbers plastered clearly. But yeah, so that was uh, that was that was fun, and that was number ten. So from ten, we only build from there. And like I said, number one is an absolute doozy, and there's a bunch of stuff that happens in between. So moral of the story: cross reference your numbers the homes, if the place looks like it's been lived in, chances are that someone is living there. <laughs> Check all the bedrooms. Uh, and if someone strange is looking at you through the window, chances are that's the owner. Get out. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found that entertaining. It wasn't entertaining. It was entertaining for me because I was, I was laughing on the inside, but I definitely wouldn't show that on the outside, looking very concerned as I should. But, um, yeah, so much more to come. Uh, take care. God bless. Till the next time. Bye for now.